All right, let's talk some Christmas trees while getting a fake tree. Obviously a little bit easier to maintain. A lot of people still love to get the real deal for the holidays. How do you pick out the right one? How do you take care of it? There is one person who's got a red shirt on who knows all those answers. Let's get to Dave, the garden guy. What's up, Dave? Hey, Scotty, and we do have the real deal here. We're just north of the 101 Scottsdale Road, Tim Mitchell's Christmas tree. In fact, all you got to look for is Santa up there. Now, not this particular view of Santa. It's the other view on the road out there. But I am with Jane Mitchell. Jane, tell me how long you guys have been in business. For 67 years. 67 years. When I was a little boy, we used to go down in your Christmas tree lot down there at Camelback and 24th. What a great experience. It, lots of families, and we have... Fourth generation in lots of families coming. <laughs> it is beautiful. And it is basically a forest of Christmas trees, but we want to talk about three trees in, in general here that really do a good job on lasting during this long season that we've got for Christmas between Thanksgiving and, of course, Christmas itself. Take a look at these trees. They are beautiful. And by the way, is there really any shortage of Christmas trees? Not yes and no. It's, it's a cyclic for the planting of Christmas trees. In the 2008, 2009, 2007, they didn't plant as many trees because the economy was down. Okay, so let's take a look at these different trees here. And you got the first one here, but all these trees are fairly long-lived. But tell us about this first one. That's a Nordman fir, and it's relatively new as a Christmas tree species. It's about 20 years. <laughs> so they, they last extremely well. A lot of people like them. The needles are kind of shiny. And they do, they do last extremely well. They're naturally a high elevation tree, mm -hmm. but they adapt really well to Oregon and Washington. And you can take a look behind you and see how she screens all these trees off. And they're in water. We're going to talk about that in a few minutes. But tell us about the second tree. This is one of my favorite, and it does a good job on holding up, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. It's a real high elevation tree, so it's been well frozen and is very dormant before they're cut and they're just hard to get because they're 7,000 feet and above. And the name of this tree? It's a silver tip fir. And last but not least, come on over here. You can see this guy. A little bit of a shorter tree, but uh, it is just as beautiful as, as the rest of them, isn't it? It's a Fraser fir and they're indigenous to North Carolina. This particular one is from Washington State and they make great trees and they last really well. And I noticed one thing, you've got these guys in water, and you keep them in water pretty much until they're sold, is that right? We do. We really try to do that. Um, even here's a, It really helps them water, and we also spray them off and keep them under the shade as much as we can. And there's another tree I want to show off before I turn it back to Scotty. And take a look back there. This tree back here is how tall, Jane? It, it's a little over 21 feet. And what's the largest one you sold this year? 40 feet. 40 feet. So there you go, Scott. You know, I know you got a new house coming along, but if you need a 40 foot tree, and I don't know if your house could handle one, I know mine can't, but uh, if you need one, I'll tell you what, you can take a look back here and you can see all these beautiful trees, and there are plenty of large ones out here and plenty of trees. Scotty, you plan on getting one? Wow. Scotty? Uh, I, I don't know, Dave. I uh, hey, I wanted to say it's, oh. it's funny you bring up that lot at 24th Street and Camelback. I remember going there. And I'm not nearly as old as you are. <laughs> oh, yeah, I knew that was coming along. <laughs> hey, you know what? I heard somebody forgot their keys in their truck the other day, so we won't go there right now about memory loss. I have, <laughs> have no <laughs> idea Scotty. what you're talking about. Dave. Oh, oh, bring it, Dave. Oh. Wow, had to go there, I, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> you know what, dude? You, 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 you. you Put it to me, I'm going to put it right back to you. <laughs> and there, I'm sure That's everybody doesn't want to bring of. it up. That's okay. All right, we'll huh? check back in with you. Can't wait. <laughs>